My name is Patty and I am 61 years old. I am a breast cancer survivor. August will be two years. I grew up in La Porte and I live in Michigan City currently. Uh, my sister lives nearby and we like to go crafting on the weekends to go all the craft shows. I do my annual screenings and I got a call back on one of my screenings in 2020, in the summer of 2020, and they said, you know, we need to have you come back. We need to see some another view. So I went back in and then they, at that time, they did a biopsy, an ultrasound biopsy at that same time. So it was like one-stop shopping. I got to do it all at once instead of having to worry and go back and keep going back. And it was um, just shortly after my birthday, my sisters and I were together. Um, my sister from Virginia was up and um, I got the phone call from my family doctor, you have cancer. So it was a, a little unnerving and I had the support of my sisters there with me. Uh, my job said that I should go ahead and get a second opinion. So I went to Chicago and got a second opinion and they basically said the same treatment that I would be getting here at Woodland Cancer Care Center would be what they would do. So I opted to stay in Michigan City with Franciscan and get all of my stuff done here because at this center, I got my chemotherapy, I got my doctor's visits, and I got my uh, radiation in the same building. So I was basically eight minutes away from work. I would leave work and come to my infusions and my radiation and then go back to work. And I was basically 10 minutes from home. So it was very convenient. I had to schedule my lumpectomy and when I did the lumpectomy, they also took the sentinel node out of my armpit. The type of cancer that I had was fast growing. And they said that if I hadn't gotten the mammogram when I did, I, could, I couldn't feel it on my monthly exams, my self exams. So I couldn't feel it, but they said within six months, I would have been able to feel it. So it was that fast growing. So I am almost two years cancer free and the prognosis for the cancer returning in the first two years is the most prevalent with my type of cancer. And I'm looking forward to the rest of my life being cancer free because of the care that I got here. Um, from age 25 on, I started my mammograms because I had the family history and I was kind of scared. I didn't want to have to deal with that, but I needed to know. Early detection through a screening is what, is why I'm here today. If you're afraid to get a mammogram, don't be afraid. It's uncomfortable, but my goodness, it'll save your life and it'll save it from spreading. If you go through it now and get your screening done now, your diagnosis is gonna be better. My church was very supportive through my diagnosis and my treatment. Um, I have a good faith in God and the hope that God is providing for me and taking care of me, and he has. Faith, love, and hope. That's what gets you through, faith, love, and hope. All of, the, all of the caregivers, all of the doctors, you can see there's some sort of, whether you talk about it or not, you know that there's faith in there. You know that the hope lives within them, and you know that they certainly love you, what they do and who they treat. My name is Patty Bell, and I am a breast cancer survivor. And I sincerely want to thank Franciscan, the, the doctors who did my treatment, the infusion nurses, they, couldn't, they can't do it without them. And those are some of the most compassionate people I've ever met. Everybody here, the, the receptionists even, they call you by name, they know who you are.